if anything, when you make choices like this, if anything, a man will respect you less because it's like, oh, I can do whatever I want to do. And she's and I'm still going to have her wrapped around my finger. I can play her out, dog her, embarrass her, drag her through the mud on TV, have her crying to the camera, crying on live videos. And she's still going to be so wrapped around my finger to the point where I can get this to tattoo my face onto her face. I can get her to brand herself. So at first I told myself that I was not going to talk about this Krishan blue face tattoo, but, you know, I, I was a couple of people that were saying that, you know, I should talk about it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it because um, in my mind, I'm just thinking like, you know, there's so many layers to this. It's like, I don't even know where to start with something like this. Like, it's just so shocking and so mind blowing that any woman, no matter what, what she's been through in life, no matter where she is in her life currently, that she would get a tattoo on her face of any any man that is not either her father or her son. But I mean, a face tattoo period to me is just ridiculous. I wouldn't do it, but I mean, to each their own. But I mean, but to get a, a tattoo on your face to brand yourself with the face of a man, with, with the face of any man is just mind boggling to me. I think it's pretty obvious that this girl has psychological issues. Like, I think that's been obvious. Like, I'm not a Krishan Rock fan at all. I don't really follow none of these young, like these baddies, quote unquote, that started on that show, Baddies with, um, what is her, Natalie Nunn and sh on uh, Zeus Network. All the mess and all the drama that's, that's in all of that reality TV and all of this being a baddie and fighting and, and just drinking every day and every weekend. Like, I'm not into that. So, like, I really don't follow. I'm not following her. The only reason why I know about this story is because she's always trending. Her and blue face are always somewhere somewhere in, in the, the world of media. You can't really escape them. I've always thought, like, every time I see a video of this chick, I can't help but to think to myself that, first of all, she doesn't know how to keep her hands to herself. Every time I would always see a video of Krishan, she's always starting a fight. Like, she's always the one instigating or starting a fight. Like, you, it's like, you, anytime you Google her, she's, she's either fighting some other chick on baddies or she's fighting with Blueface. So, I mean she's nothing but drama she's she is literally the definition of toxic like i i swear to god the the this the webster's dictionary should have a picture of her or she should be somewhere in the description in the dictionary of the word toxic because that is literally who she is i've always thought every time i see this girl online or on tv fighting you know i heard you know she had assaulted um one of uh, Tamar Braxton's, I don't know, one of her associates or whatever, who, somebody who works with Tamar Braxton, she was doing like a concert and she physically assaulted this guy just because, I don't know, y'all, it was just a big dramatic mess, but she's always assaulting somebody. I really think that this little girl needs to do jail time just so she can understand how life works. She needs to be in jail period. I, I'm, I've always thought that every time I see her, I mean, and obviously she has a prison mentality. Getting a tattoo on your face, period, is one thing, y'all. But let's just talk about the fact that she's getting a tattoo on her face of this idiot blue face, her baby daddy. This is the same guy that constantly dogs you out, embarrasses you. This is the same guy who's probably responsible for a lot of the psychological issues that you have. He's in jail right now. And I'm about to play this little clip for y'all of her when she went on live and talking about basically why she got the tattoo on her face. Yes, I got it covered up because he was playing with me. The f bitch. I got a new tat because we making up. F you. Ain't no other bitch gonna tat him on the face like this. And if you are, bitch, congratulations. I gave you an idea. Go ahead, I'm a trendsetter. Everybody follow what I do anyway, so I don't give a f Y'all wanna see? Yeah. My n my n my n What happened when y'all fall? We not falling out again, bro. He went to jail and he realized, like, niggas, he only f one bitch, and it's me. And I'd rather be with my BD than anybody else because I don't know. So her excuse for getting a portrait of blue face onto her face. Her excuse for that is, 
uh, where we're making up? Like, do you have no thought process of the future at all? Like, this is a this is a girl that has she does not think about the future at all. She's she had a neck tattoo of his face, then got it covered up with like a big flower because they fell out because like she said, he was playing with me. He was playing games. Well, what's going to stop him from playing playing games this time? And now you got it on your face. So now you're going to have to go back. Once y'all fall out again, which you will, you're going to have to go back to a, another tattoo artist and get another tattoo to cover up the, the foolish mistake that you just made now. And when, you, when these young folks are watching this or whoever finds her to be inspiring or who, you know, who's following her. I mean, she said she's a trendsetter. So uh, whoever is following behind the trends that this girl is setting, you know, I really hope that maybe you can see past the um, the social media clout chasing and maybe see the foolishness in all of this and not think that it's cute or cool to get a man's face branded onto your own face and you know what don't don't come in my comment section talking about i'm being judgmental and you don't know that girl's life get out of my comment section with that don't even post it because first of all this is my this is my opinion and when somebody is doing when sometimes you gotta call out when somebody is doing something that's just completely foolish like when somebody is doing something that's completely off the ringer and this person is clearly somebody who has influence. It's it's only right for people to speak out on it. I mean, any any idiot, any fool can see that this is a destructive path. I mean, so if you want to just enable people and let them destroy themselves and not say nothing, and that's on you. But don't come over here telling me not to do not to do what I'm doing. You know, what's also interesting is I don't know if she really realized the amount of backlash that she was gonna get from this. I know I'm I'm sure that she knew that. This was going to go super mega viral. Like I'm I'm convinced that she knew that. I don't think she knew that she was going to lose like 200,000, 300,000 followers. Because I, I read somewhere or heard somewhere that, because I don't follow her, but I read that she lost like two or 300,000 followers. So y'all, people are not with the foolishness. Like her fans are like, hold on now. This is just going too far, girl. Like. I if you that stupid, I can't I I can't even I don't even want to be entertained by you. Like I don't even want you in my sight. I don't even want you to be in my visual like peripheral vision at all as I'm scrolling scrolling through my feed. And you know, it was another part in that same live video that she did where people were were saying like um you know, they were talking about, you know, like what I'm saying like, like are you not thinking about the future? What's going to happen when y'all fall out again? And bless they blind. And she's and then she says something about, um, you know, I'm getting money, you know, we're rich, we got two, we got two mansions, we out here getting money, we out here getting money. I get it. Everybody, I feel like in some way wants a little bit of clout. Everybody wants the big bags, right? We all want that. But at the same time, where do you draw the line? How far is too far? So yeah, I mean, it's like go ahead and make your money, sis, but clearly people are seeing through the BS and your fans don't even want to be a part of it. I mean, really think about what type of mentality you got to have to get a man's face tattooed on you, not once, but twice. And this, the second time is after this guy proposed to his first baby mama that he has two kids with, that he went through hell and back with. <laughs> that he's currently trying to put on into the rap game. So you went and got his face. I understand that's your baby daddy, but you went and got his face after he proposed to another woman in or in with with the intention of spiting you. You went and got his face. Like, do you really think that this man respects you? If anything, when you make choices like this, if anything, a man will respect you less because it's like, oh, I can do whatever I want to do. And she's, and I'm still going to have her wrapped around my finger. I can play her out, dog her, embarrass her, drag her through the mud on TV, have her crying to the camera, crying on live videos. And she's still going to be so wrapped around my finger to the point where I can get this to tattoo my face onto her face. I can get her to brand herself. That's how much mind control this man has.
That is absolutely crazy. And if she thinks that this is that this makes her look like a boss chick or like that this means like I'm the number one, I'm his number one, I'm no boo boo. This makes you look like a straight up fool. And you are gonna, and when you get played over this, you're gonna feel even more stupid. We all just waiting. We just counting down the days for her to go right back on live video in a couple of weeks or whenever he gets out of prison to come online crying about how he didn't played her and that she's about to get another uh, cover up. Ladies, look, if you're a young lady and you're watching this and, and you've been following this whole Krishan thing, I really hope that you notice that if a man loves you and respects you, he is not even going to want you to tattoo his face anywhere on your body, let alone on your beautiful, pretty face. OK, if a man loves you and respects you, he's he, men speak, men show love with actions. OK, so this guy, I don't know what type of mouthpiece this man has, but his mouthpiece and his game must be insane because his actions don't show love. His actions don't show respect. So that means that she's going based off of some delusion that she has in her mind solely based off of whatever it is that he's telling her. And what whatever they're doing in the bedroom. The man who loves you and respects you, I'm telling y'all, he wants to lift you up. He wants to honor you. He wants you for himself. He wants you to present yourself to the world and look good and look like a woman of integrity. But in this particular situation, none of that is happening. But once again, I mean, she's toxic. So what do you, what would you really expect? This a toxic man with a toxic woman, a toxic ass relationship. And we are all we all get to just witness this you know, on live video. Because I mean, let's just be real. She's not any less toxic than he is. They're just, they're equally as toxic. They're just two toxic people that just have insane psycho, psychological issues. They, they both need therapy. But there's another part of this too that just kind of came to me as I was thinking about whether or not if I even wanted to speak on this topic. But I'm wondering y'all, and y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Because Krishan, if you haven't noticed, is starting to become a more and more prominent figure in the music industry. So a part of me is kind of wondering, is this possibly a part of a humiliation ritual? You know how we all see these humiliation rituals where that all of these celebrities have to go through before they really, really blow up. So rather if it be some type of face tattoo or some type of sex tape or, you know, something that is completely humiliating that they have to do as a part of the initiation process um, to get into this elite circle. And I wouldn't be surprised if not too long after she's she just posted that this tattoo video what a couple of days ago I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing her throwing up those pyramid symbols covering up one of the eyes I would not be surprised if we start seeing pictures of her doing that I'm just saying we could just pay attention to it I mean I'm not sure I'm just I'm speculating but I would not be surprised if that could that we could actually start seeing that because think about it what can be more humiliating than getting a man who dogs you out left and right, who has humiliated you in public multiple times, just proposed to his other baby mama. You already had a tattoo of him on your neck and got it covered up. What could be more humiliating than you being stupid enough to get his face tattooed onto your face? Knowing the type of backlash that you're going to get from that. I don't know. Makes sense to me. But let me know what you guys think about this. Um, yeah. Let me know about this. Um, do y'all think that this could possibly be a part of the humiliation ritual? Because I really, I don't know, my spidey senses are really tingling. And I think that that is a very big possibility. Um, I just, you know, even though I don't, I don't see her as a respectable woman. Like, I don't really see her as the type of woman that makes good choices. Um, she's toxic. She's always been toxic. So, I mean, can we really be surprised that she does something this stupid? But, um, but there's, then there's a part of me that's thinking like there could be a huge financial reason why she did this. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like the video. If you like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys next time.